It's the 24th of um, September. I'm just down at the Mincingfield Lane end of the orchard and um, just taking a look at some of these uh, trees. This is a, a really big old um, cider apple tree called um, Tremlett's Bitter. Absolutely marvellous crop. These apples are completely inedible. If you was to bite into one, you'd spit it out. Um, but when they are crushed and made into cider, as part of a blend, it's a really good um, addition. It's like a spice, really. This is Yarlington Mill, which is another traditional West Country bittersweet. Um, this is one that breaks branches now and then, so I have actually propped up some of these heavy branches. I've had broken branches on this. Uh, in the past, so I've done some propping. But what I really want to do is take a look at this Bramley apple here. And I'd like to dedicate this uh, video to Joni Mitchell. Now, um, uh, my brother Chris um, had a copy of Joni Mitchell's wonderful album, Blue, uh, which we used to, it was one of the sort of four or five LP records we had between us. Uh, never mind what the others were, but there was a lot of Floyd and Pink Floyd and Hendrix and Led Zeppelin there. But um, I'm thinking 35 years ago. Uh, but yeah, there was a, uh, some lovely songs on there. Of course, the beautiful autobiographical Little Green. Of course, none of us knew at the time that uh, Little Green, uh, which is a song about uh, um, an unmarried mother, um, uh, none of us knew at the time that the song was autobiographical and that Joni had had a baby without being married and had. I put the baby up for adoption. Happy ending to the story because uh, uh, they've met up and uh, Joni is uh, now a grandmother and uh, it's always sweet. But her best known song, I wouldn't say her best, by long chill, but her best, her best known song is um, Big Yellow Taxi, uh, which includes the line, Come on farmers, put away the DDT now. Give me spots on my apples, but leave me the birds and the bees. Ha! Ah. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone? They paved paradise, put up a parking lot, shoo 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 ba. That's enough of my singing, but anyway, um, it was considered to be by some people the first uh, environmental protest song, and um, it probably contributed quite a lot. It's a very popular song, you'll still quite often hear it on the radio. Popular song, and um, you know, and it sort of blamed farmers for destroying the environment by using horribly toxic chemicals. Well, anyway, here's some spots on apples. Here's an apple tree that didn't get sprayed. Um, now, DDT was banned a long time ago. Uh, it's not toxic to humans at all, but it's got quite it's quite persistent in the environment, and uh, and it, it was causing a problem for. Um, uh, some birds of prey, causing their eggs not to hatch, and stuff like that. So it was banned. Uh, regrettably, um, it's been banned in Africa, where it's used to paint, it was used to paint the inside of human dwellings. So it's quite non-toxic to humans. Uh, and it killed the mosquitoes, so they didn't then bite the children and give them malaria, which um, kills, apparently still kills one child every three minutes in Africa. So that's a bit of an own goal, really. Um, but anyway, I don't want to get into the geopolitics of that particularly, but yeah, we use crop protection just as we vaccinated our children because we didn't want them to get tipteria, um, tetanus, polio or whooping cough. Uh, that's another story, I don't want to go on any more about that, but yeah, we do use some crop protection because it is a regrettable fact uh, that um, apples get apples with spots on, they won't keep, they won't store, and they won't sell. And um, so you know, there's a, a number of pests and diseases which attack um, apples. And if you don't protect against them, um, just as if you don't, um, just as if you don't um, vaccinate your children, they may run the risk of getting diphtheria, which is a fatal disease. Um, and I'm old enough to have known older doctors who've seen children die of diphtheria um, before vaccination came in. Um, if, you know, if we don't use um, some degree of fungicide and insecticide prophylactically, then this is sort of some of the stuff that we get. And these apples, there's absolutely no prospect whatsoever of taking any of these to market. Not all, not all varieties are as susceptible to scab as Bramley, not, all year, not every year. Uh, it's quite as bad as this has been on this particular uh, tree, but 
There are no homeopathic or organic solutions uh, to apple scab. You've either got to use an insecticide or accept scab. And uh, so I, I love Joni Mitchell. I wish her well wherever she may be. But if she ever passed me down that way, if, she ever, if anyone knows that Joni Mitchell, give her a nudge, ask her to have a little look at this video and say, hey, Joni, I love you, but uh, you'll be doing us farmers a favour if you could perhaps write a song if you still have the, the muse, if you still have the gift. And, and if you don't, well, you gave us more than enough beautiful songs. So thank you so much for that. Um, especially the circle game and Little Green, in my opinion. Oh, I like Free Man in Paris as well. I really relate to that at my, this stage in my life where I'm just working so hard. I haven't got the time to do the things I want to do very much. Um, but hey, Joni, what about, uh, uh, to balance Big Yellow Taxi, what about a song about, um, perhaps a slightly a mildly sarcastic song, uh, about a very wealthy lady going to a farmer's market and turning her nose up at uh, apples with spots on them and um, grumbling that the um, farmer hadn't actually sprayed enough.